Wow, there are a lot of rice planted in the rice field. Hmm, but why does Malaysia still need to import rice from other countries? Is the production of rice in Malaysia is not enough? Hmm. In year 1985, the area of rice field in Malaysia was 665,000 hectares. Then, 10 years later, the area of rice field in Malaysia slightly increased by 5,000 hectares. However, in 2020, there was a big decrease from 670,000 to 644,900 hectares. Currently, the rice need of the people of this country has reached 2.5 million metric tons a year, while the country's rice expenditure is approximately 70% of that requirement. So, that is the reason why we are importing rice from another country. After some bit researching, we also find out some changes and factors on why can our country become one of the main rice exporters. Here are the examples. Recently, Malaysia has experienced a significant increase in temperature. Extreme temperature increases and changes in rainfall patterns can disrupt the growth and development of rice plants. Temperatures that are too high or unstable temperatures can inhibit the photosynthetic process and reduce planting yield. In addition, changes in irregular rainfall patterns or drought can cause a lack of water needed for rice growth. Diseases and pests on rice plants can significantly reduce productivity. Diseases such as blight, rice, and leaf blight can infect plants and cause damage to leaves, stems, and rice panicles. Pests such as white baked plant toppers, stem borers, and rice red can also damage crop, reducing the amount of rice produced. Population growth, urbanization, and infrastructure expansion can result in a reduction in available agricultural area. The lack of available areas for rice farming can hinder production potential and reduce farmers' income. Hmm, Malaysia has faced a quite difficult challenges to produce rice. But when there's a problem, there will also be a solution. So. Here is our innovation to overcome this issue. The idea is to create a floating platform using BPA-free materials such as recycled plastic or bamboo to support the rice plants. This way, we can eliminate the risk of BPA contamination while ensuring a productive rice cultivation process. We will design the platform to allow the rice plants to anchor their root through specially designed gaps. The platform will provide stability and prevent excessive water movement, creating a controlled environment for the rice plants to thrive. We'll integrate a carefully planned pest management system by implementing natural deterrents like companion planting, threat crops, and biological controls. We can minimize the risk of pests and diseases without resorting to harmful chemicals. This floating rice field not only eliminates the risk of BPA contamination but also increases our productivity and promotes sustainable farming practices. While floating rice fields offer many advantages, it is important to note that implementing and managing such systems require careful planning, appropriate infrastructure and knowledge sharing among farmers. Local conditions, including water quality, nutrient availability, and crop varieties, need to be considered for successful implementation.